Welcome back to the Brown Mix and Master YouTube channel. Today we are talking about how and why you should double track your vocals or guitars. Let's start from the beginning. What is doubling? Doubling or double tracking is when after you've recorded your main take, you record alternate takes to blend in behind your main takes. This is often done for the chorusing effect it adds because it changes the tone. You should consider doubling a vocal or guitar when you want them to sound thick, wide, beefy, and huge. But don't let this take you off track and don't go too far with it. You want to be intentional about when you double and when you do not double. Oftentimes with vocals, I like to double the choruses and I might do two or three takes so I can play around in the stereo field from left to right with panning. With guitars, it really depends on what I'm going for. Oftentimes with a distorted electric guitar, it can be cool to do lots of doubles. But keep in mind, it's always cool for an effect in certain parts to have a single guitar down the center. One often noob mistake I often see and get asked about is, why can't I just copy and paste the current take I have, drag it down, and boom, I have two. This is a little complicated, but I'm gonna explain it to you real quick. You can't use an exact copy and paste double because what happens when you use the exact same take is that no chorusing happens because it's the exact same file. And what happens then is your track just gets louder. You're not actually taking advantage of what doubling can do. Trust me, even zoom in really close on the audio files, the sine waves are exactly the same. You're not gonna get the effect. Also, when it comes to the stereo field, you don't get any benefits either because what is mono? Mono in the stereo space is just when the left and right speakers have the same amount of something coming out. So technically, when you duplicate your track and pan them hard left and hard right, you're not actually gaining anything because the same signal is coming out of both speakers at the same volume. And that actually ends up just sounding mono. Keep in mind that doubler plugins also do exist and they have their place in mixing. I don't know that it would ever sound that great on electric guitar, I've never tried it. Maybe on a clean part but they definitely have their place with vocals. It's a cool effect, but it's not the same effect, so keep in mind that both can be used to your advantage. Let me show you some examples of some stuff that's isolated and some stuff that's doubled, so we can hear the difference. All right, so here's an example of what a single vocal sounds like versus a doubled vocal, so check this out. She took a look from me, told me that she had enough of me. How could you just up and leave me? Like, how could you just get up and walk away from me? If you really was for me, you'd only want my company. You'd show me all your love for me. You'd know that you're the one for me. I you la -la. She la all right, and here's an example of what it sounds like with doubles going through the whole thing for the entire leads of this hook. She took a look from me, told me that she had enough of me. How could you just up and leave me? Like, how could you just get up and walk away from me? If you really was for me, you'd only want my company. You'd show me all your love for me. You'd know that you're the one for me. I you, la -la, she la so I would just notice how much thicker the vocal sounds with the doubles in there. One of my favorite tricks for choruses and hooks is to get three takes total. Have your main down the center and have the duplicates panned hard left and hard right so your vocals actually sound wider and they are doing something interesting in the stereo field. From there you can get creative. For example, Lolo in this track, he did more doubles on just the endings of his lines and this can be kind of cool to add emphasis and to make certain things pop. I usually call it an in and out. Check it out what it sounds like. She took a look from me, told me that she had enough of me. How could you just up and leave me? Like, how could you just get up and walk away from me? If you really was for me, you'd only want my company. You'd show me all your love for me. You'd know that you're the one for me. You, la -la, she left. So with that, it's just adding some emphasis to the ends of the lines to make it pop out even more. It's pretty cool stuff. Next, I have an example of some electric guitars being doubled from a song I'm working on with my friend Jeremy. So here's what the rhythm electric guitar sounds like with just one. And now check it out when it's doubled. Yeah. 
as you can tell with the doubling, the guitars just get chunky, awesome, and brutal. It's just a cool production technique to just make your track sound bigger. All right, thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot about doubling and what it can do for your music productions. Please subscribe, and for more information, check us out at brownmixandmaster.com.